Jimmy and Dan are both dads and they both have a tough decision to make. Do they bring their kids to Melbourne in case the borders shut down? Well, we wanted to see what their opinions were on the whole situation, so we sort of got, got them together out in the back of Daniel and Jade's house and just sort of ran through what they were thinking. Hey, Dan, what are you guys doing with your kids? They're not coming. Yeah. I've got a daughter that's got severe health issues and it scares me, but, oh, yeah. 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 It's better to leave them home on the farm and if they have to self-isolate, at least they've got a couple of thousand acres. If they get told you have to stay at home, they can run for days and not be found, so... <laughs> well, that's what we're thinking of doing. That's what we're doing. thinking as well. It's just they're in a safe zone. Yeah. I just feel as though it's taking them out of a comfort zone and they've already had to adjust to everything. Yeah. We've decided to leave Frankie up in Noosa. She's happy, she's healthy, yep. she's secluded. We're it's, happy about that. Yeah, it's the best place for her. We're just talking about kids. Just yeah. Talk, like, what, are you, what are your guys' thoughts? <clears throat> well... Like, I mean, it's a hard decision because yeah. you want to see them and you don't know how it's going to go, but... Mm. If, if it gets to a shutdown stage for everyone, that'll be the yeah. bit, because they won't be here with us. Yeah. It's a tricky one, guys. Luke and Jasmine's two children are the furthest away in Perth, staying with Luke's parents. Their youngest, Sonny, has only just learned to walk while they've been on the block. So we obviously have a lot to consider and we have to put this back to our parents um, who have got our children. Mm -hmm. um, but we're obviously dying to see our kids. Yeah. Dying is an understatement. We are just yeah. so, we miss them so much. Yeah. Hopefully it can all work out. <laughs>